new on-demand templates provide users with standardized startup configuration, which help accelerate the scene creation process. 3ds Max 2016 is shipped with a selection of templates that can be used as is or customized to suit your needs. In this video, we will look at how these templates have been set up and how easy they are to use in your current workflow. When launching 3ds Max, the starter templates window automatically opens, from which you can select a template. The original startup is basically an empty scene and provides the same interface similar to legacy 3ds Max startup scene. To access the startup templates menu again, go to the help menu welcome screen. The Sample Architectural Outdoor 3PM is a template geared toward architectural needs. It uses the new design workspace as the UI setting. The template is set up with a camera, a daylight system, set at 3PM, and uses inches as unit system. The scene is organized by layer, with an empty layer active for you to create, import, or merge content on. When it's time to render, basic settings are part of the templates that will give you a fast and medium quality render. From there, you can easily change the time of the day or the orientation of the compass to get different lighting condition and start customizing that template to match your workflow. The Sample Outdoor HDRI Courtyard is another useful template. Geared towards smaller objects such as vehicles, this template is set with an HDR image as an environment dome. You will need to switch the viewport to a realistic mode in order to have visual feedback in the viewport. A camera is set to match the image, leaving a decent amount of space to load or create a model in the scene. This template doesn't use the Design Workspace UI as a default, but you can easily switch it on or decide to include it in the setting if you wish to customize this template. The ground plane in this scene uses a mental ray matte shadow material, which will capture the shadow and reflection without obtruding the HDR environment image. Keep in mind that the physical camera that is set for this template is using the physical camera exposure control. By default, the physical camera exposure control uses a per camera exposure. So if you decide to create a different camera or render using a perspective view, you will have to adjust the exposure value accordingly. Hiding the ground plane object would also prevent the shadow, ambient occlusion and reflection to be captured in the render as you see in the comparison image here. It is recommended that you leave the ground plane visible to get a better rendering results. For engineers or product designers, the Sample Studio Scene template provides a great environment to render small to large product designs. Again, turning the viewport to a realistic mode will give you visual feedback. This template has two physical cameras already set up in the scene, a close-up view and more of a global view. Again, the exposure value of this scene is set per camera. So if you decide to create a different camera or render using a perspective view, you will have to adjust the exposure value accordingly. You can easily hide undesired content such as the podium or the studio letters if you don't need them in the scene. While using the auto grid, you can create objects directly on the podium. Otherwise, you can merge, import or file link content and use the placement tool to position them properly on the podium. Again, the render settings are set to give you a medium quality render, which you might want to increase the quality for your final rendering. Templates come with many different settings for rendering, environment, lighting, units, and more to help achieve better and faster results for the project at hand. The templates that are shipped with 3ds Max are a good starting point. However, users also have the ability to create new templates or modify existing templates, custom tailoring them for individual workflows. Moreover, with easy import and export options, users can also share templates.